Hi Cancer, it's Jo from Angels and Ancestors and this is your What The Fuck reading 7th through to the 13th of September. No announcements to make so we'll get straight into the reading and ask for your first card which is current situation what started the What The Fuck. the current situation for cancer please thank you and then the first aspect facing your fears and taking your fucking power back and then your second aspect your manifestation your wish fulfillment why it may be fucked And then we're going to ask the cards for your movement, your journey, where the fuck you need to be. Cracky, they're taking some time tonight, aren't they? Where does cancer need to be this week? Thank you. And what can they do about the situation? What the fuck can they do? And then, lovelies, what the fuck is out of your hands? And then reconnecting to your true self, Cancer. How's Cancer going to reconnect to their true self? Thank you. Oh, what an outcome, Cancer. Okay, darlings. So what started the what the fuck for you this week, darlings? You've got the Six of Wands. This is accolade. This is you being recognised for something by friends, family and community. But it's also the attraction card. So whatever this is that has kind of got you in the forefront of everybody's thoughts, you are now attract, being attracted to... No, you are attractive to... Um, people inviting you out, people wanting you to be around... Um, all of that stuff, and I'm kind of getting it's caused a bit of an issue for you, Cancer. I mean, usually you're quite a, a sociable creature, but I'm kind of getting that. I'm kind of getting it's not all that it was cracked up to be. I kind of get that you really wanted the attention, and once you got it, you were kind of like, oh. I'm not sure I want this. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about this. This, this other side of it. This almost like your diary is full because of this, and all you want is a peaceful life, basically. But there is some recognition going on for something that you've done that is really positive, and people just want to celebrate with you. And it doesn't have to be anything major. I mean, it could just be that you passed your A levels. It could be. That you're going to university. It could be that you started a new job. Um, it doesn't have to be. It's major in your life. But it doesn't have to be. Particularly major in other people's lives. But I get that everybody's so fed up. With not having. Those celebrations. And not having. Um, 
this attractiveness around them where they can actually invite people to celebrate something really good uh, they're kind of lapping it up more than they would normally so kind of go with the flow with it darlings because it will die down and in your first aspect facing your fears and taking your power back you've got the eight of chalices now this is a water card you will understand this card there is a quest that you want to go on physical mental emotional or spiritual maybe a combination of all of those but it's kind of like you're going out to do this away from the people that you love the way from your community the sun is beating down on you your chalices are all in the upright they have got your back they understand that you need to do this but once you've released yourself to do this you face the fear of actually stepping out and doing this your next fear is is that you're worried that you don't actually know what it is that you want you kind of like are looking at it and thinking yes it's what i want but I don't know what one so taking your power back will be the decision about what it is that you want to do not the fact that you've got up and done it but it's making that decision is going to give you a big boost of power and cancer why on earth would anybody manifest or wish fulfill the four of chalices I just I don't understand it so let's have a think. When I laid this card down, I got for some of you, it's like, oh fuck, not again. So I'm kind of getting that some of you are kind of wish fulfilling and manifesting, pushing somebody away because you really don't want this fucking cup again. You really don't want this in your life. And I'm kind of getting that the other lot of you are manifesting a cup you're drawing a cup towards you um but then you're not sure if you actually want it you've got three cups in front of you that is celeb that set that is celebrations why would you want a fourth cup to come in and disturb that but i'm getting that you're manifesting it and then you're having second thoughts about it so it's almost like you're asking for it and then you cancel it out before it even happens So your movement, your journey, where the fuck you need to be. And this does go in line with this quest, darling. There is a leap of faith required here on your journey. This is the green man. He goes along on his jollies and he doesn't take risk assessments into account. He is not risk adverse. He just gets on, enjoys life, loves life to its fullest and fuck the consequences and that's the kind of leap of faith that they're saying on your journey that you need to be taking. And what you can do about the situation with the King of Pentacles is bring in some stability. Bring in that stronghold, that stableness that everybody wants so badly. Um, this is a King energy, so male or female. This is a very commanding, demanding energy. Been it, seen it, done it. Sitting, admiring their work. Um, but it's asking you to allow stability to come in to this scenario that's going on. Bringing strength and stability back to yourself. So, my darlings what the fuck is out of oh my god okay what is out of your hands cancer you've got the queen of a fame is again male or female the universe has decided that this person this energy is being removed from your sphere they're not even going to give you the option of this person they're not this is going to be an air sign. This is going to be Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. And the reason they removed this energy from your sphere and you're not going to have access to this energy is because the universe has stepped in and said they're not available. They're not available to you. And I'm kind of getting that's possibly 
to do with your wish fulfillment and your manifestation because that's the energy that I got that you was drawing somebody to you and then you didn't want it and the universe is saying you can't have it anyway it's not yours to have because right in behind that again male or female you have the king of wands now the queen of a Thames is intelligent highly intuitive she can cut things out that other people wouldn't even dream of cutting out she will not put up with any freaking nonsense she doesn't like arguments she doesn't like he said she said she will process it in her head sometimes she'll over process it and come out with a hundred different scenarios but in the end she will cut she will cut she will use that athame she uses that athame to draw down energy she also uses that athame to cut out the things that no longer serve her and i'm kind of getting that the universe is agreeing with her at the moment that you're no longer serving this person and i'm kind of getting that they feel drained by the scenario that's happened now you've got the king of wands straight behind that now the king of wands is the king that is of desire he knows what it's like to have that deep pit of desire in your belly and he's sitting there going i've done it i've i've had the projects i'm successful with that sort of thing i'm successful at work and now I've got a magic wand, I'm going to wave this magic wand and I am going to make things come for you, come true for you. Get your wish fulfillment for you. And the universe is also saying, you, this desire that you've got, you need to shelve it just for the time being until this has sorted itself out. Now, the universe only holds these energies. They don't remove them permanently. It just, you just hold it. Now, the king of wands for me is going to be aries leo or sagittarius and i'm kind of getting the feeling that although this is a king energy i'm getting that this could be either somebody the same age as you or somebody younger than you somebody who comes across as being wiser than their years around desires I'm getting that she's out of the equation completely, but I'm getting that these two come together. They're a pair. Um, and if you can't reach one, you can't reach the other because there is a connection between these two. And Cancer, I have to say, I can't even tell you what the connection is, um, but the universe has got it on hold. It's not accessible to you, Cancer. Um, it could be a brother and sister scenario. It could be a couple of friends that have just stepped out of the equation. Um, but I am getting that the connection with the Queen, male or female, again... Has got a connection with this wish fulfillment. I'm kind of getting that. Maybe you wish fulfill this in your dreams. And then when you wake up. You're kind of like dismissing it. Uh, 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 no I don't want to go there. I don't I don't want to do this. And that's why it's saying. There's got to be a leap of faith. And you've got to bring in stability. Because you're unhinging yourself. You've got all these wonderful things happening around you. But you're in this mode. I'm wondering if you're regretting letting somebody go whether you are sitting yourself in a king energy wanting to bring in this stability but it's miles too late wanting to take that leap of faith but you don't know how it's going to be received and the universe is definitely saying don't even try because we're, we're, these two are massively protected and I'm not saying protected against you, but they are massively protected by the universe. There's other things that these two are doing that is completely separate from you. It's, 
they just showed me an umbilical cord being cut it's just like that it was just like somebody just did this scissor action and cut the ties with this these two energies and I'm getting that these two energies are connected in some way I'm not getting that they're lovers or anything like that there's nothing sinister like that but I am getting that I'm getting that you want these energies back you want to reintroduce them into your energy because I get that you feel that they are good energies to have around and I get that by them being absent from you that it's kind of left you in the doldrums. I'm wondering, hold on a second. So your accolade card where you've come back really strong triumphant from something from for friends family and community i'm kind of getting that these guys were absent from this they don't know about this they've not celebrated with you around this i don't think they even know what this is cancer i don't oh okay I'm kind of getting the feeling that you're quite relieved that they are out of the equation just from the very fact because you don't know how how they're gonna react to you they don't know how you don't know how you don't want to be cut out of their lives and you don't want this king energy to whoop your ass basically because that's the energy I'm getting I'm getting that he could make wishes for you or he could just fucking bonk you on the head with that bloody wand and I'm getting it's more frustration than it is anything else from from both parties So darling, the reconnection to the true you, you've got the four of a theme, is this is about going and thinking about things. This is about taking time out, going and sitting under a tree if you need to, and just thinking about things, bringing things back into balance, back into focus, and then you will reconnect to your true self. So darlings, your outcome, you have put yourself out in the cold, whatever this is that's going on with these two people, you started this scenario, you put yourself in the cold, now there's five of pentacles here, there shouldn't be any reason for destitution, there shouldn't be any reason for you to be out in the cold but I kind of get that there's something that you're holding on to that you can't explain to these people you can't explain it so rather than try to explain it try to um make sense of it you're just taking yourself off and sitting out in the cold so although the universe is holding these people again i'm getting that it's you that is doing this you are holding these people at arm's length and the universe is just saying they're protected anyway you know do your worse basically so right in behind the five pentacles it says if you're in doubt do nothing if you're in doubt Stop, be still and listen to your intuition around this situation because if you listen to your intuition with the night of a thames, you will get messages coming through, fast messages, hugely speedy coming through 
and it could be in the physical it could be in a dream state or in a meditation but once those messages start coming in it's going to uncover for you a spiritual side that I'm kind of getting that you've wanted to explore but a little bit confused where you want to go and it's also about timing it's about timing how you reach out to somebody how you explain yourself to somebody it is all to do with timing and then in behind that i'm getting that this was a life's lesson this was a life's lesson that you had to go through you had to learn you had no choice in it um and i'm getting that you still feel like the child in this cancer you still feel like a scolded naughty school child you have not taken your place as the tutor as the teacher um, which the cards are asking you to do they're asking you to take that the lead on that crikey cancer what a reading and then in behind that you have got the high priestess she's non-conventional she draws on her intuition to add to that pot she draws energy down from the moon and she's protected by the standing stones and she is clearly saying to you look you know if you use your intuition if you stop and think about things and you allow these messages to come through all the negativity will clear because you're taking control you're not letting your thinking brain take over you need to go deeper you need to delve deeper into your intuition and you need allow to allow that gut feeling to lead you that's the leap of faith it wants you to take that's the stability it's asking you to bring in and it's saying where the fuck do you get off cancer because darlings it doesn't matter what you want in this life nothing comes for nothing you don't get given things this is hard work this is the seven of pentacles this is choices this is you being the master craftsman um trying to get there trying to understand how you get there but i kind of get that for you there's a lot of get rich quick schemes and get there by cutting corners all of that sort of stuff is going on around you but it's saying take your time be proud of the work that you're doing whether you are working physically on something that you love whether it's work in a relationship whether it is work um around the home take your time that's why father time has turned up because they're saying yes it's hard work but take your time take pride in what you're doing take pride in your relationships take pride in the fact that you're being asked to take this leap of faith and watching yourself coming into this spiritual being that i'm kind of getting that you're finding very difficult to um not a lichen test the wrong word but you're kind of finding it difficult it's like a mud mire to you you want the spirituality but there's so much other shit going on that it's always being put back it's always taking second place over everything else you know take your leap of faith get this stability in your life because i'm telling you right now this will clear this will become clearer this quest will become clearer you've got father time there but they're asking you just be still just listen to your intuition twice you've got the the eight of athames and then you have got the high priestess both cards are telling you intuition use your intuition be the teacher don't be don't keep staying in a younger energy get yourself into the mature energy that you should be be in because that's where the king of pentacles is coming in 
So darling, it's, do you know what? I've just got a headache reading that for you. Oh God, cancer. Oh, thank goodness for that. You've got the Ace of Pentacles. This is a new beginning. Everything in the garden's lovely. Everything's coming up. This is a new beginning around your family, around your work, around your money. And it's work-life balance. And it's kind of like bringing in this fresh new perspective for you on everything. Um, because I'm kind of getting that you are just struggling these cards are so flaming confused. You are struggling, uh, particularly around this, these two. Particularly around these two, male or female. Well, so darlings, let's ask the angels and the ancestors. For some knowledge, wisdom and guidance for this week. Cancer, okay, so that was a really strong reading. Um, but yeah, I'm cut. They're not saying you can't have this connection with these people. But they are saying that they've removed them from your energy. And I can't get away from that. I can't get away from that. So the first oh, two cards that came out. You have the Earth Mother. Feel loved and comforted. You have the worry, Warrior. Be fearless and stand strong. You have the Stargazer. Follow the voice of your soul. See, these are very spiritual cards. And I'm kind of getting that that's where you really need to be, is looking at your spiritual side. High Priestess, again, second time. Harness mystic powers. Lovely. You've got to listen to this. Shapeshifter. Transform and unveil your gifts. Broken Arrow. Embrace the energy of peace. Cancer. You've got the sun card. Enjoy success and happiness. Cancer, I get that this is what you want. I get that you want a happy family. I get that you want to strive towards that. But I'm getting you don't know how the fuck to do it. Doesn't matter what you do or how you come back to accolade, you just don't know how to get this together. You don't know how to pull it all back together again. And that's why you're feeling like this. Because you just can't seem to do it. Lovely sister, and that is your weekly reading. Please be safe wherever you are and I will catch you next week. Bye for now.